stripes of all types. Written and illustrated by Susan Stockdale. Y en español, rayas de todos las tallas. Escrito y ilustrado por Susan Stockdale. How are you doing over there, turtle? How are you today, my friends? How are you today? I hope that you're okay, my friends. Oh, deep in my heart, I want to say, I hope that you're okay today. Oh, oh, deep in my heart, meow, 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 meow. What's that kitten singing? Meow, 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 meow. Did you hear that I, I found a book and it's written in English and in Spanish. Do you remember when I read um, the book, it was a Dr. Seuss book, and it was uh, 10 apples on top, and I learned how to sing the song in Turkish. Well, guess what I did? I took some notes, and I learned how to sing our song in Spanish, en español. Are you ready? I'll sing it. We can sing it together. Perhaps you know Spanish. It's very exciting for me. I haven't sung a song in Spanish in at least 10 or 15 years. I have in the past. Here we go. Como estas? No, that's not how we're going to do it. Let's reverse that. We're going to reverse that. We don't edit. Did you know that, Turtle? We don't edit. There's no editing. Mr. Greg reads mistakes and all. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. <laughs> Como estas hoy, amigos? Como estas hoy? Espero que estén bien, mis amigas. Profundo en mi corazón. Quiero decir, espero que estén bien, mis amigos. Oh, profundo en mi corazón, quiero decir, espero que estén bien, mis amigas. Y gatas y gatos. That's cat in Spanish. Gatos. Pero tortoise is a gata. She is a girl. Oh. It's a tortoise is turtle. Let's read the book. Should we read the book? It's a very wonderful book. Sarah, you'll be very excited to see that there are stripes in this book. The illustrations are just beautiful. There are so many... Uh, illustrations and little poems related to the natural world and where stripes occur. Yeah, I love stripes. Stripes are great, right? We don't have any kittens in the room with stripes, do we? No. Bat, come here. Here, hold on, I'm gonna get Bat. Come here, Bat. See, there are no stripes. All of the kittens are either black Oh, I know, right? Hello, hello. Oh, oh. Let me get my nose. Get my nose. What do you want to say? Very purry, do you hear? All right, I'm gonna put you back. I suppose, you know what? This is a tortoise shell tabby. She doesn't really have any stripes though, does she? <gasps> You don't have stripes, turtle. Do you have any stripes? 
No. Four strikes. Oh, bear. Bear wants in on this action. Is bear. <laughs> that one's turtle. That one's bear. Mm. Bat is right there. You see him? See bat right? Oh, right. oh. <laughs> sorry, bear. Okay, let's read the book. It looks like I'm looking in odd places, and it's because I have to remember, if I want you to think I'm looking at you, which I am, I have to look at the camera, which is a little off. But I always want to look at my face, and then it looks like I'm not looking at you. It's very unusual, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Stripes of all types. Rayas de todas las tallas. Beautiful. Oh, what's on the splash page? Nothing. Stripes found in the water. Hay rayas en el agua. Such beautiful stripes. Sliding through the weeds. Do you see? I believe this is an eel. And that eel is sliding. And now we're going to hear the Spanish word for sliding. Y deslizándose entre hierbas. I wonder what the next verb or action is going to be. <gasps> Drinking from rivers. Bebiendo de los rios. And darting through the reeds. Do you see he's darting? Very quick. Dart, dart. Y atravesando los juncos. Oh, what, what action is this going to be? It's probably going to be a word that indicates something very slow. Or, because this creature is carrying something, toting a shell. Cargando un caracol. Ooh, there's interesting stripes. Twisting on sand. Serpenteando por la arena. I think that's so cool how in Spanish the word for twisting is serpenteando. Do you hear another word in there? Serpent. Yeah, like a snake. Serpenteado means to twist. Ooh, here's one you have to see the entire page. Sprawled in a lair. A lair is a name for the home where tigers live. Yeah, and to sprawl out is to make your body take up a lot of space. That's why the tiger is taking up the entire two pages. Tendidas en la guarida. Ooh, and another one. We need the entire page because the zebras are sprinting on land. Galopando en las planicies. Galopando. Sprinting. Do you know another word like that? Galloping. Yeah, that's what horses and zebras do. And in Spanish, that's the word for sprint. Galopando. Galopando. Prowling. Prowling on the prairie very slowly, seeking something to eat. Rondando por las praderas. Ooh, those are beautiful wavy stripes. Perched on a peak. Perched like a bird. Y encaramadas en altas cumbres. Altas cumbres. That's a peak, a very high spot. And look. Very little flying creatures crawling on a cactus. Caminando sobre el cactus. Did you hear that? Cactus in Spanish is cactus. I said it a little bit differently. I said cactus. And in English I kind of say cactus. 
here's another fun creature with such cool stripes and even all of the plants are making their own stripes so many stripes here camped by a creek that creature is camping echadas junto el arroyo do you hear katie barking yeah dog in spanish is perro p-e-r-o oh here's a fun creature with stripes propped on a log propped just kind of sitting there propped trepadas en un tronco 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 is a log hmm. Ooh, that's beautiful poised on a leaf to poise is to sit in a very intentional way see right now i'm poised on my chair kind of <laughs> Y posadas sobre un hoja. Oh boy. Oh, the skunk is beautiful. I believe that's a skunk. Scaling a ridge. That's kind of climbing. Subiendo por el cerro. Oh my goodness. Now we're underwater with many stripes and colors. Let me bring this in so you can see that. Scouting a reef. That striped fish is scouting. He's he or she is looking, looking around. Explorando el arrecife. Explorando. Explore. Scouting to explore. In Spanish, it helps us to learn the word in English. How cool is that? Hey bat. Bat wants to crawl on my leg and it kinda hurts because I'm only wearing socks. <laughs> <laughs> now he wants to bite my finger. Okay. We're almost done, guys, and then we'll play a little bit. Stripes found in forests. Hay rayas en los bosques. And stripes found on farms. Rayas en las granjas. Oh. Stripes found with children curled in their arms. See, they have striped kitties. Y hay rayas que los niños acurrucan en sus brazos. By the way, were, were you wondering what those creatures were? Because I have a really cool piece of paper that tells me who everybody is. So let's, you want to go through that really quickly? Yeah? What do you think down there? What do you think, buddy? You want to tell everybody about, about all the creatures in the book? Huh? I think we should do that. I got a little cheat sheet, see? And then we'll open, here's what we'll do. I know, meow meows. We'll open the book and then we'll, we'll say what the thing is, okay? Oh, there's one. Remember that one? That is a purple striped jellyfish. Yeah. Medusa ortiga del mar. And then over here, that green one, is an eastern garter snake. Serpiente. De carretera. What's the next one, buddy? Oh, look. Those are ring-tailed lemurs. Yeah. Lemur de cola anillada. Yeah. And then this is a type of bird called a bittern. You would like that, right? Al caravan americano. Yeah. Oh, the next one was the snail. Do you remember the snail? Do you remember it? Yeah. That's the snail. In fact, it is a Florida tree snail. Corocol de Arbol de Florida. Oh, you like Spanish, do And this creature right here is a zebra moray eel. Yeah. Morena zebra. That was easy to say in Spanish. I thought that was going to be more challenging. All right. Let's see what the next creature is. Oh. Tiger. El tigre. I knew that was a tiger, right? And then the next one are common zebras. Common zebras. Yeah. Zebra mm -hmm. common. And then the creature who was prowling, rodando, was an American badger. Tejon americano. Now this creature has a really fun name. Bongo. Antelope africano. Yeah, it's saying it's an African antelope in, in Spanish. But in English, it's telling me it's called a bongo. A bongo. 
Adam's Max. Oh, those little flying creatures. Do you remember those? Yeah. That's a cactus bee. Mm -hmm. That is a uh, abejorro. And then a Mayan tapir. Tapir malayo. I don't know if it's tapir or tapper. Do you know? I should look that up. Oh, the next one is such a fun name. Do you remember that frog? A really colorful frog? Yeah? Are you ready for, for that, that creature's name? That is a plantasmal poison frog. <laughs> yeah. Rana venosa tricolor. It's a three color poisonous frog. And then, um, and then we have a zebra swallowtail butterfly. That butterfly does kind of look like a zebra. Yeah. Mariposa zebra. Butterfly like a zebra. I thought this was a skunk. Is it? Yep, it's a striped skunk. Mofeta rayada. Now, there are three different types of fish in this reef. We've got a striped surgeon fish, um, six line wrasse, and oriental sweet lips. Oh no, this, I don't know which is which, but it's pez surjujando. Labrido de seis líneas y rojandor oriental. And that creature is an okapi, okapi, and a turkey, or a pavo. And these cats are mackerel tabbies. We don't have any tabbies. Gato a tigrado, y niños. Okay, gato. Gato negro. This is my black cat, gato negro. It was so wonderful hanging out with you and learning some Spanish words and talking about stripes. There you go, buddy. And uh, I really look forward to seeing you again very soon. Who knows what uh, next language I'll be thinking about as well. It's very fun learning how to communicate and sing our, our song in, in different languages. So we've already done English and we've done Turkish and we've done Spanish, uh, and we've done American Sign Language. In the, in the past, I've signed the song before. Maybe I'll try to do it again next time, and I'll make it very obvious that I'm signing for you. Okay? Mwah. Love you.